hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, engineering thermodynamics and in the previous videos related to uh, this topic we covered about uh, pure substance uh, about the state postulate we discussed that so in this video we are going to discuss about another uh, important concept associated with the basic discussion related to engineering thermodynamics or thermodynamics in general which is the concept of quasi static process okay so here uh, by just you know reading this uh, topic we know that here the concepts related to thermodynamic properties thermodynamic process and thermodynamic cycle which we have already discussed in the previous videos those concepts will come into play so let us just uh, revisit them in a quick way so that when we discuss this quasi static process it will be clear to us okay uh, what we are trying to extract from it so first is uh, thermodynamic properties so in thermodynamics uh, a property or in any uh, discussion the property of a system it describes the characteristic features associated with it so the thermodynamic properties are used to define the nature of the system the physical conditions associated with the system so the commonly used properties that are used to define the state of a system or to understand the properties of a system they are pressure temperature and volume they are the you know features that give us information about the condition of the system pressure temperature volume other properties are also used but mostly in thermodynamics you will come across these three terms like i've said in all the previous discussion so we can say that these are the thermodynamic properties are the coordinates which are used to define the state of a system like the x and y coordinates are used to pinpoint the location of a system in the coordinate axis okay similarly the thermodynamic properties act as the you know physical coordinates to define the con physical condition of a system okay so another important thing here is the state of a system so when all the properties associated with a system they have a fixed value they attain fixed definite values the system is said to be existing in a particular state okay so they act as the state variables of a system now in any operation if the properties the thermodynamic properties undergo a change the system is said to have undergone a change of state okay for example let's say we have a system defined by pressure volume and temperature temperature is kept constant so the only variable parameters are pressure and volume initially at state a initial state a the system has pressure p subscript a volume v subscript a with time pressure changes to p b actually decreases volume changes to v b volume increases pressure decreasing volume increasing so the initial and the final point using this uh, p as the y axis v or volume as the x axis if we join these two points and this is the succession or this is the path taken by the system during the change of the state if we join these intermediate points then this is the change of state of the system and this is the path ab the curve ab is the path taken by the system okay so this is a thermodynamic process we can say okay the thermodynamic process because here the path is specified 
okay under similar conditions when the experiment or this is again repeated it will again take the same path it will not deviate if it deviates then it is not a thermodynamic process because the path is not fixed okay when the path is fixed when it is definite when it is specified completely only then it can be called as a thermodynamic process now if we consider another case where during the change or the operation the state changes from initial state 1 to final state not final state exact uh, exactly the intermediate state let's say middle state 2 and again the system goes back to its initial state so the final state is the same as the initial state okay system initially at pressure p1 volume v1 at constant temperature t changes to pressure p2 volume v2 and again goes back to its initial state then this is called as a thermodynamic cycle this is a thermodynamic process this is a thermodynamic cycle okay these two are two different processes p1 v1 to p2 v2 p2 v2 to p1 v1 again so the final and initial states they are the same so it is a thermodynamic cycle now the quasi static process so a quasi static process is very much similar to the points or the concepts we just discussed here in the thermodynamic process discussion i've already posted a video related to thermodynamic process and uh, the thermodynamic cycle so a quasi static process is actually you know a group or locus of the equilibrium points or the intermediate states pass through by a system when it undergoes a change of state from initial state to final state okay so quasi static process is basically a group a locus of the equilibrium states or the intermediate states okay intermediate equilibrium states pass through by a system during a change of state from initial to final state so we'll discuss what it actually is okay so quasi here means almost okay almost static process okay one of the important characteristics of quasi static process is infinite slowness so what infinite slowness is okay so let us discuss it let us consider a system again we'll always uh, use three parameters to define uh, the system pressure volume and temperature like i said commonly used parameters let us consider a cylinder consisting of a movable piston which confines certain amount of gas they are at an initial equilibrium state defined by parameters p1 v1 t1 pressure volume temperature a weight w okay is space uh, is, it is placed on the piston such that the upward pressure of the gas exactly balances the downward force due to the weight so it is at this initial equilibrium state defined by the coordinate points p1 v1 initial state 1 okay this is the initial state 1 now let us say the weight is removed the weight is taken off now because of because this weight is removed there is an unbalance there is an imbalance in the force okay the inside pressure of the gas and the outside pressure there is an imbalance mismatch so the piston moves upwards because of the pressure of the gas inside the cylinder and it continues to move upwards till it hits the stops okay the stops that are installed at the top of the cylinder and it finally comes to a stop here and this is the final state final equilibrium state again of the system and this is defined by the values p2 v2 and t2 okay final pressure volume and temperature this p2 v2 
initial state 1 p1 v1 final state 2 p2 v2 now let us say this weight instead of uh, placing a single weight here we divide this weight into many small equal size uh, weights okay we divide it into let's say 10 equal parts or n equal parts like equal parts and we take or we lift one by one all these uh, segmented pieces of weight okay the divided pieces of weight we play you know we take them off one by one so when we take them off one by one the gas it will reach the final state this final state p2 v2 t2 but not at once but by passing through multiple intermediate equilibrium points okay multiple intermediate equilibrium points here the weight was lifted off at once okay all at once so it reached from the initial state 1 to 2 directly but when we divided the weight into many small parts and uh, you know we taken off those small parts one by one with some time gap it reached the initial state p1 v1 to the final state through multiple intermediate equilibrium points so each of these points is an equilibrium state in itself okay each of these points is an equilibrium state in itself now this collection grouping locus of the intermediate equilibrium states the intermediate equilibrium points between the initial state and the final state of a system that is called as a quasi static process okay this is called as a quasi static process so when the first weight was taken off the system reached here when the first top piece of weight was taken then when the second weight was taken second equal piece of weight was taken the system reached here then when the third piece was taken the system reached here when the fourth it reached here fifth it reached here sixth it reached here seventh it reached here so when finally here uh, okay eight pieces of weight let us divide the weight into eight equal pieces so when the final eighth piece was taken off it reached here and we got the final equilibrium state two so each of these middle stages middle equilibrium states are also you know equilibrium points themselves okay so the collection or the grouping or the locus of these equilibrium points is called as a quasi static path and this is a quasi static process okay so uh, here the concept of thermodynamic properties thermodynamic process thermodynamic cycle will also come into play when we if we extend the discussion but here let us just keep it simple okay so quasi static process is just a grouping or equilibrium of the multiple intermediate equilibrium states okay so here we have discussed about quasi static process so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much